says I have oil pressures, and it says it's 135 degrees. That's way better than it was last time we drove this car. Yeah, we did a lot to it. I mean, every nut and bolt on the whole car is brand new. Yeah, I'm, I'm not inhaling fumes through the floorboards anymore. And you have a seat belt? I have a seat belt this time. That's a new Trans even, right? It didn't have a stick in it the last time, did it? No. American powertrain uh, five speed, not six. So Lucky installed the tail lights for me, which are LEDs, and they have a switch on them where you can either make them with the sequential blink, 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 I blink, like blink, that. or solid. And I was like, no disco. I want just regular solid light. I don't like the sequential. I like the sequential. It's disco. Ah, it's churching it up. I like it. Ah, I hear my bad lifter. Ah, uh, that lifter clatter is the worst. Oh, I hope that lifter doesn't break while we're doing this. Oh, this is the worst it's ever done it. I'm sure there'll be a parking lot around here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, well, we've already got a bummer. It's idling at 2,000 RPM. It's got no throttle return spring, massive vacuum leak. And aside from that, it has got a lifter that is making a ton of noise. Unfortunately, it started doing that as soon as I put it in the car, and it hasn't healed. It didn't do that until it got hot, and, right. then, and until the lifter started really making noise. Yeah. <laughs> That is radically unacceptable lifter noise. The cable is not letting it go all the way. I'm way more concerned about that lifter. That's, that's gonna fail. Well, I don't know what to do about that at the side of the road. Well, I guess we go do burnouts and hope I don't blow it out. I got it to idle slower but it looks like something in the intake is catching on a throttle blade and is not letting the throttle go all the way back to zero. But my far bigger concern is uh, that thing makes a lot of lifter noise. Well, I guess I'm going to Hoonigan and hoping for the best. What do they say? Just ain't care? Ain't care? Something like that. It could be worse. <laughs> Wheel hops too. Yeah, now it's not doing it. Cool. Well, I suppose it had to continue being roadkill one way or another. Always does. Doesn't matter how nice the car is. Oh, I see I John's see. Nova. Yeah. Look at see. It says just ain't care. There it is. I'm parking directly under that because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> ah, we made it. On seven and a half cylinders. <laughs> yeah. Better than most, though. Think it does burnouts on seven and a half because just ain't care. Yeah. So our friends at the Hoonigans recently moved to a location where they could do burnouts, which means we could do burnouts. <laughs> Dude, this is the spot. This is perfect for burnouts. This is the brand new Hoonigan Empire in Compton, California, and they got more space than they used to in Long Beach, and they're letting us use it to break in or perhaps break the disgusting. I believe they've only been here for two weeks, and look how many tire tracks there are already here. Oh, these guys, they know how to party on the tire destruction, that's for sure. It's your job to make it worse. Just go get the car. Well, the problem is, on the way over here, a lifter collapsed. It's making a lot of clattering noise. It's a hydraulic roller lifter. They've been failing a lot lately, and this one did. So I got to tear it apart. The question is, will I break it doing burnouts here at Hoonigan? Well, I think you know the answer. So I guess we'll fire it up and find out if I'm going to embarrass myself or run the thing into a shipping container back there as I put the rubber down in the burn yard. Why am I doing this to my brand new car? I only have one question right now. And it's, will the peer pressure of being in the most famous burnout spot in the world influence his right foot when he comes through here in the disgusting? I think it will. Let's see. Oh, there's a Corvette right there. Careful. Don't point that thing at me. It's a Mustang. 
I wouldn't stand there. Oh, you pointed a Mustang at me. I, I ran. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Run. No. Oh. <laughs> a pretty damn good donut. I really feel like he owes us more though. I mean, the car's got base now, it's got a new motor, it's got a new transmission, new suspension, all that work that went to that car, I feel like he owes you and me more smoke than that. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> that didn't count either, do better. I love peer pressuring Freiberger into making bad decisions with his cars. It's still in one piece, more cowbell. Ha, ha, ha.